welcome to Discover San Diego. I'm your host, Valley, and we're back with Lance Correa. Welcome back. Well, thanks for having me, and I'm glad to be back. Of course. So <laughs> tell us a little bit, what's the peninsula? So I live over in Point Loma. Uh, the peninsula is pretty much Point Loma and Ocean Beach. Okay. Um, I love the area because it's kind of a unique um, setting because you have two completely different kind of vibes. You have Ocean Beach, the quintessential California beach community, and then you have Point Loma, which is known for its boating, yachting, uh, sailing, I mean, uh, numerous yacht clubs. And they connect. They yeah, they're literally a mile mile apart. You just go over the hill, and then you're on one side, and then depending on your mood, jump back to the other side. Uh -huh. um, it, it, it's a blast having, having the options of of doing so many different things right there. Being that close together are the price ranges vastly different too? Uh, no, um, I would say right now, Ocean Beach on a per square foot price is actually higher than Point Loma. Historically, Point Loma has been kind of known to be a little nicer area, um, but I think with the, the, the global economy, people really look at West Coast and I wanna see ocean. So you have amazing ocean views from there, looking up the coastline. Um, but on the Point Loma side, you have beautiful views of downtown and the Coronado Bridge, looking all the way down into Mexico. Mm -hmm. Both both locations are amazing. Yeah, and there's some city life, some dining, and oh, both oh, locations, bo shopping. Both, ha I mean, you have Liberty Station in, in Point Loma, which is, you have to check out. It's got everything you need. Uh, you have great dining on both sides. Uh, some really good Italian restaurants, Pomodoros, a little shout out. Uh, and then great little bars and restaurants on, on the OB side. Mm -hmm. South Beach is one of my favorite places to go. You could probably find me there probably once a week or so. Mm -hmm. I think it's kind of like those two areas are somewhat of like the lifeline of San Diego. And what people see online, that's where you're looking. You're looking at pictures of Point Loma and OB. Well, yeah, uh, absolutely. And it's a hop, skip, and a jump downtown. It's like a $7 Uber. It's <laughs> it's really convenient. And you, it's if you want to go check out a you know, Padre game, it's close. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I absolutely love living in Point Loma and it, working. It does seem like a joyful place to live. I have a couple of friends that live in um, OB, and they yeah. just seem like happy as a clam, you know? <laughs> well, you, well, then once you're there, you don't even have to leave. I mean, it's, it, it's got, got everything you need. No. So once you're on the point, you're just... Once you're in OB, you never want to leave OB, I don't think. No. Nope. Everybody loves it. Point Loma is absolutely beautiful. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, great walking paths and just great scenery. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing your insight and your personal knowledge since you are a resident there. Oh, yeah. And so, um, four again. Ge four generations on both sides. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, we'll dive into that next time. All right. Sounds like a plan. All right, Lance. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me.